Welcome back team, it's great to see your smiling faces. Today I'm gonna to go over my gear bag and this is my Black Magic winter gear bag. So I will change this completely for summer. But to be fair, I've got multiple gear bags and storage containers that I take. But for today's purposes, I'm gonna run through my winter setup in my Black Magic bag. Rightio, starting in the top here, right at the top here I've got wind-on leaders, uh, just for quick replacement, for, that's 100 pounds, so that's just an emergency. Pretty much when I'm up there, or when I'm fishing up Derval, I'll do a PR knot, but if I bust off up there, I'll put a suffix wind-on leader on. Quickly put that on, then I'm back into the action, because I won't do a PR knot, up there when I'm actually jigging or getting into the action. So we'll just use a wind on leader. Once I get back to land, I'll take that wind on leader off and I'll wrap it back up into a bit of EVA and then I'll retie and put a, another PR knot with a five meter leader on ready to go. Basically, I've always got these ready to use in emergency, but once I come back, PR knot and I'm way laughing again. So on the top part here, then I've also got these little wire, heaps of these little wire things. So if I want to retie up a like a bottom banger after we've used it, I can tie them all up with these things here. So I keep a heap of these in the top. I've also got, looks like a wire trace there, I guess if I'm cuda hunting. And at the top as well, I've also got those little lights. These are the ones that go on to the end of my uh, blackout rods that I use for stray lining in summer. So I've just left them in there. Right, next in the top here, I've got my Shimano gloves, the Osea gloves, I've got a couple of sets of them. Basically, you get about a season out of them, to be fair, because, I mean, we're using them to pull in groper, fillet fish and all sorts, so I just got a new set there, so Osea gloves. Next on that side, I've got wax for the PR knots, got my Black Magic UV light for charging up all the luminous or glow barkus cigarette lighter that's the windless ones there so that's what i use on board the boat for the pr knots because i'll still do prs when i'm back at the mooring at night uh, shimano pr bobbin another cigarette lighter shimano squid lure the clinch sepia and that's got the little shimmer in it those things are pretty cool in the middle storage here, I've got all my leader. I've got 20 pound Shimano, fluorocarbon 30, Black Magic Supple Trace, uh, 80 pound Supple Trace, uh, 80 pound fluorocarbon Shimano, and then 120 pound. So basically, the full range to just suit Kingfish, Groper. So that just sits in the middle of the compartment there. Right, on the far end pocket in here, I've got my UV trailers, my Shimano UV trailers. These are exclusive at Big Blue Dive and Fish. So if you haven't seen these before, you actually put these onto the hook. And what it actually does in the current, because they float, it holds the hook up and sets the hook in the right position with all the skirt. So these are awesome and I've been using them for ages. Uh, Shimano Odaku skirts as well, exclusive to Big Blue in New Zealand. These are great add-on for the Barkus or changing up some random UV trailers that I got as well. I put them in there to use them, but I just haven't used them. And that's some more UV trailers there. So I've got more UV trailers and Idaku skirts there, heaps of them. Next in here, I've got a small Shimano tackle tray. Uh, in this bad boy here, I've got basically all my little fast clips for snapper fishing, I've got split rings, swivels, solid rings, big game snap swivels, my kingy jig assist parts there, figure eights. So basically this is all the little terminal tackle I've got for on board the boat just for re-rigging and all that sort of carry on. And it's easier having in a small storage case like this in the top of the bag so I can grab it out grab a fast clip, put it on my snapper set, and I'm away laughing, or re-rig up for jigging. Right, chuckle that back there. Right, next in the front here, team, 
I have got five tackle trays in here. When you buy this bag, it comes with actually a Black Magic other case. And these are like, it's sort of insulated like it's a lunchbox basically. And I will put Black Magic flasher rigs in these. They actually fit them quite good, so you can actually chuck a flasher rig across there and have a range of them in there. So it's actually another storage container. But I'll keep this separate from in here and then have five tackle trays. And that gives me another one to chuck in the gunnel of the boat. Yeah, five tackle trays in here. Starting at the, the top here, I have got all my skirts and hooks for the barkus in here and doTERRAs. So they're all in one tray here that I can just grab a skirt, change colors, add a daku skirt. I've got UV trailers in here as well. So basically that's all my assists so I can make the tiger markus. Next one down, this is all my kawai lures and bait fish lures. Just uh, random older lures that I've got there or junk crappy lures that I use for kuda and bait fishing or trying to catch bait. So just lots of cheap junky crappy lures that I've scored over the years or bought over the years. You know how we buy that shitty shit and end up with it and wishing we'd never bought that shit? Well, that's what that shit is. Next one in there is all my barkus. So there is a massive range of barkus. You can see the lack of black ones in there. That last shipment we got in, that custom shipment, there was 100 bar black barkus in there and 150 gram, I got one. And I even work at the shop, what's with that? I think I've got a couple left, yeah, there's I've got two, two black 150s left and a couple of smaller ones, but we do have another shipment of Baku's black 150s and 200s and orange and that on the way as well. So actually next month, I think we've got more black Baku 200s turning up, which will be pretty cool. So that's all my Baku's in there. Uh, next one down is all my Lucanus and doTERRA. So they're all spread out in there, all the different colors and all that sort of carry on. There is the Sunset Lucanus. To be brutally honest, this would be my favorite, favorite lure. I love this color and love this lure. I, I don't know why, but it's just an old classic lure and it, it, it saved us on many occasions. But the key in having so many lures team is if you're finding sign and dropping and you're not actually getting any fish, change the colors out or change the lure as well. That's the beauty of having the fast clip is you can change colors in a second. So if you're not getting them, don't just keep using the same lure, change up your colors. And quite often it'll be that small thing of that different color that'll actually make a difference. Right on the bottom here, the only problem is, is because all these trays weigh so much, actually getting out the next ones, easier said than done. So I'll pull out that one. Right, on the bottom there, I have got a Black Magic double-sided tray. Okay, and on the top there, I've got all the Black Magic and Shimano squid jigs, squid fishing. So this is me going, right, I'm going to become an imag magical, amazing squid fisherman, and then I'm out of control and buy every lure under the sun for squid fishing, but yet I still haven't casted a squid lure. Right, and on the other side, I have got bottom ships and a few other random lures. But the old classic bottom ship is definitely a lure that you want in the tackle box. These things have been dynamite in the past and such a great classic lure anyway. So at the bottom there, that is the, the Black Magic double-sided lure tray. And these things are great, especially for your squid lures or your longer lures. They'll also fit all your barkus down there too. So you can get a shitload of lures in one of these tackle trays. So that's all the lures I take for Durval. Well, yeah, pretty much that's most of the lures. Like I said, I do have another tackle bag. The other thing I do have is the Shimano waterproof cases. These fit perfectly in the Senator gunnels and they're waterproof. So actually what I do before I go on a trip is I'll go through a heap of lures and just sort of decide what I want to use. So I'll put them in here ready to go so I don't have to go in and out of that tackle tray. They'll be in the side gunnel here ready. But like I said, most of the time I've got them rigged up ready to rock on these. Right, next thing on the front here in the zip pocket compartment, I have got all the Black Magic Sabiki rigs. And so they're all there ready to go. And they're like 
four or five dollars each, but I'm so cheap that I'll keep using that same rig until all the hooks are so rusty that we're just not catching anything. So I do need to change them all, which I have been good now and starting to change them out a lot more. So that's the main compartments of the tackle bags. I dread to know what I've got in the side here. I haven't been in the side of this tackle bag for ages. Hopefully it will be groper rigs, but who knows? It's a kind of surprise really. Uh, big heavy duty live bait rig or shark rig. Oh, definitely that's a shark rig there. That also is a shark rig. That's another heavy duty live bait rig. And that's one of those wind-ons I was talking about. So I don't know why I've got them in there. Maybe I'm gonna catch a big bag shark one day. Who knows? On the other side here, this will be all wind-ons. So that's like I was saying about the 14. They're a wind-on leader. That in emergency when you bust off you can chuck one of these on with a double overhanded uh, knot or you can use the bimini twist you can instantly be up and running with them and that's a that's a piece of cake just to put one of them on real quick instead of doing a mainstream knot but you yeah, I mean more means it's up to you what you want to do but that's just a quick way of doing it can't get them back in the bag that is my black magic tackle bag for winter fishing like I said team in summer, in summer, I will change all these. I will change these to suit, like with stray line rigs and all the other hooks and bits and pieces. So these will change out, or they'll go lighter slow jigs, but I'll change that. Now, one cool thing is all the Shimano and Black Magic tackle bags fit both all of their storage systems. So Shimano will fit Black Magic, Black Magic will fit the Shimano. They're pretty much identical sizing, so you can uh, switch them and change them out. The waterproof one from Black Magic. That's probably my one of my favorite tackle trays, actually. It's waterproof. It's got real good dividers that hold in nice and snugly and don't actually pop out. So that would, that would they're the better tackle trays, I think, on the market. Yep, so that is my Durville Island winter fishing setup. I do take another tackle bag, a Shimano one up there, with all hooks, assists, kingy assists, those little black tray things I was showing you, a couple of them. So this is not the only bag. For today's purposes, I just wanted to show you my immediate kit for what I take up for winter fishing up Durville. Once again, team, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, in fact, enjoy it, what do you do? You like and you subscribe. And if you don't like it, yeah. Just go find a better channel. I, I literally, there's probably millions. You yeah, know, actually, there's millions of better channels to be fair. I might go try and find one myself. Thanks, team. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.